Welcome ladies and gentlemen to Fallout 4, my name's Camel, and this video is going to be a guide of how to acquire the Hot Rodder magazine that unlocks the Hot Rodder Hot Pink Power Armor custom paint job. First of all, we need to come to the West Roxbury Parking Lot Funhouse, which is a very deceptive name. As we can see on the map here, it is almost directly south of Diamond City. Once we get much closer, we can see that it is northeast of Fallon's department store and northwest of West Roxbury station, right where my character's standing at this crossroads. We're here, and the door to the entry is here. Before we head in, just a warning, this place is an absolute labyrinth filled, absolutely packed to the brim with traps. There's even an enormous pack of ghouls to greet us on the third floor. For the sake of making this video as smooth as possible, I've gone through and cleared the entire place out, so when you do go in, be much more cautious. So once we head through the door, we want to head straight ahead towards the back wall. Once at these arrows, we're going to turn right, and then turn right again, and we will come across three buttons. We need to click two, three, two, one. And that will unlock the four doors. We need to walk through the four doors, turn around to the left, follow down here, then go through here, turn right, and then turn left all the way around. At this intersection, turn right. And at this intersection, turn left, and then turn left again. And that has cleared the ground floor. Now we're onto the second floor. We need to go up and turn left, hug this wall, head straight ahead, turn left, head down this hall, and as soon as it starts narrowing, turn left again. At this T intersection, we need to turn left once more. Head straight ahead, and turn around to the right, and now we have cleared floor two. Now, we are on to the third floor. We need to come around to the right, turn left at this lantern, go straight through here, turn left again, turn hard left in fact. We need to head over towards that gap and the window. Once there, turn left, head straight ahead towards that window, turn left again, and now we have cleared the third floor. Now on to the fourth and final floor. Once at the top, turn left, go directly ahead towards the trash can and the door. Once we reach the door, turn left. We need to walk down this hallway, and once there, turn left. Here we will encounter three doors. We need to go through the door on the right, with the number 2 painted on it. Once through here, go towards the window, then turn left. Walk slightly ahead, turn right, go past the dead end sign and the raiders' heads, Turn left. Now this door here to our left, this white door, is exactly where we need to go. So we go through that door, and then turn left immediately, and on the box next to the bed we will find the Hot Rodder magazine, which as you can see is the Hot Pink edition. And when we pick it up we can see Hot Rodder, you've collected an issue of Hot Rodder, permanently unlock a new custom paint job for your power armor. And down the bottom of the magazine once again we can see it's the Hot Pink edition. Now to apply the custom paint job to your power armor, you must first park your power armor at a power armor station, just like you can see on screen, which simply just requires you to hop out of your power armor right near a power armor station. Once this is done, click on the power armor station to begin crafting your power armor. All you need to do is simply select one of the armor slots, then come down to the second mod which says no material mod, and then select your material mod, and in this case it's the hot rod hot pink paint. Click back twice, select the next piece of power armor, and rinse and repeat. And once that's done, we will have our complete set of Hot Rod Hot Pink power armor. And check it out, it's good to see that they brought across such an idea from Fallout 3's cut armor. However, unlike Fallout 3's version which had the love heart, this version has a nice little white pattern on it. I've tested this across three different series of power armor and it has been applicable to all three so far. So I'm going to assume that it can be applied to all series of power armor. So now you have your custom hot rod hot pink power armor, you are the sexiest thing wandering around Boston. Well. Let's be honest, you already were. And there we go, that completes the guide of how to acquire the Hot Rodder magazine that unlocks the Hot Rodder Hot Pink Power Armor Custom Paint Job.
I've been Camel, I would like to thank you very much for watching. If you would like to check out some more Fallout 4 guides, please feel free to click on the playlist button, which will take you, of course, to the Fallout 4 guides playlist, and then you can browse at your will, or you can check in the description, where it will be frequently updated with links to new guides for Fallout 4. Once again, I would like to thank you very much for watching, and I will see you shortly in the next video. I'll see you there.